Visual Composer Video Academy. In this video tutorial we are going to learn how to use Visual Composer Grid Builder which is a part of our Page Builder plugin to create a custom grid items which you can use in your grid elements. For this purpose I have created some basic page with the text and I would probably would love to see some media grid just under my text. For this purpose I'm going to add either media grid or masonry media grid. Also you can see there is a post grid and post masonry grid. So I will choose media grid and specify images from my media library. I have prepared eight images, specified their titles and once I push save you can see that I have quickly created some basic grid to work with. What I wanted to do first is probably set four images per row instead of three to make it more compact. Okay, but as you can see on the hover there is no effect and maybe I would love to add some transition here as well. For this purpose I'm going to navigate to item design and under item design tab you will see grid element template. There are plenty of different templates prepared by Visual Composer team for basic grid and masonry grid which are related to post grid and masonry post grid and you can use those types of grid elements to display your posts, custom post types, pages, or basically creating category type pages. And there is another group with media grid and masonry media grid. As I am using media grid, I will probably stick to media grid templates, but it's also allowed to combine them and for example use masonry media grid template in media grid. So I'm just going to select sliding title template and as you can see on the hover I have sliding from top effect with title of my image displayed. Let's choose another template scale in this icon and again hover I can see icon appear with a good looking zoom effect. But there are cases when you would love to modify grid item template because there is something to add or something to remove or probably create even new one like I've done it there with my kitchen grid example. There you go. This is a custom made grid item template with again title of the image displayed and two separators. To learn more let's navigate to grid builder by just pressing modify selected item and I'm instantly taken to the grid builder of Visual Composer. Visual Composer grid builder is located under your WordPress admin Visual Composer grid builder. Once you enter grid builder and start creating your grid you will see there is block in the center which is the main or root block for grid item templates and there are spaces for additional blocks which are not affected by transition you make or any cover effect added but they can store some additional information so first let's try to add some element to the one of these additional blocks. As you can see there are different elements available in Visual Composer Grid Builder and they are divided into two logical groups. First are static elements like separator, icon, text block which do not change from grid item to item. But then there are so, those uh, dynamic parts like post title, post excerpt, author, categories, post image, date and even custom field. And it is also important to mention that if you have advanced custom field plugin installed, you will see advanced custom field element there as well. And the same applies to WooCommerce. So you can see WooCommerce add to cart option there as well. So I'm just going to add, for example, post excerpt. And as you can see, instantly 
got block, which you can even divide into separate columns and so on, appear at the bottom of my grid item. And the uh, important thing to mention is that I can add only one additional block at a time, but I can quickly change location of it or even by pressing this plus button. Why would you like to use additional block? Let's for example imagine that we have grid item with featured image displayed on top and there is a hover effect for the image. But under the image you would like to see your post excerpt and maybe even post title. But you don't want them to be affected by transition. And this, this is the good point where you can use additional block. For additional block you have different controls, just like you work with the rows and columns in Visual Composer where you can specify some paddings, margins, set background, even set background image. I will now remove this additional block because we are going to focus mainly on the main or root block. The root block uh, can consist of just a normal block or normal block and hover block, which means that uh, you can design what is displayed on the hover state of your grid item. By default there is just a normal block, but uh, you can quickly add hover block by selecting one of these animations at the right top. I have selected this fade in and uh, maybe there you would like to just have hover block without animation, so you, you would need to stick to double block. Or if you don't wish to have any hover, then you should use single block. There are a lot of different animations between normal and hover block you can play around by yourself. And as you can see in my page example, I will switch back to my page, save it. On hover there is a title and two separator lines. How does it look in grid builder? I will have to navigate to hover block and just display elements like separator, post title and again separator. The animation of the separator you see on hover is added automatically once you add separator to your grid item. Within post title there are different options just like with any other visual composer element you can either even specifically specify custom fonts, text alignment and other options and even design options. What is important to mention is the edit option of hover block and normal block. Once you click on the hover block, you can set action which is happening on the click on this block or even set the use featured image on background. Like for example in the normal block, I have specified the use featured image on the background and as you can see, I specified image is displayed there in the background and as I have specified for the hover block open pretty photo on click you can see that once I click on my grid item I get a pretty photo light box displayed. One thing to look into normal block is the part of hate mode of the image or this grid with item space. By default there is a square but there are different other proportions of images and you can even set your custom. The important thing to mention is about original so if you are creating masonry grid item template then you would probably need to use original there. And once you work on your grid item template, you can quickly preview it by going into preview mode and see how it will approximately look in, in, on your page. And just once you've created your grid item, you'll need to save it and 
it will appear in the list of your grid builder item templates. Then you just need to add media or post or any other type of grid and select your item template from the drop down of item design. Thank you and good luck with your Visual Composer Power page.